my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Faces by B Marie, and I'm coming to you with some new products today. Okay? As you can see, I haven't been recording lately just because I've been busy, been going to work, been doing stuff, you know. But I will record for you, so don't worry about me not recording. As you can see, I am feeling myself today. Yes, I am, because I have gotten my nails done, my hair done, and everything did, okay? What's that song? Okay, yes, that's that song, okay? But, um, my hair is did by, um, my mom. But it was inspired by Rashida off of Love and Hip Hop. Have you ever, if you have never seen that show or that series or whatever it's called on VH1, you should go check it out because I love that season. And I love Rashida hair, you know, because she had that ponytail when she was pregnant. But it was longer than this. This is an 18 inch. But don't worry about it because I'm going to switch it up. So a 32 inch talk will be down to my crack. However, <laughs> this is the point that I got for now. It's classy and you know you can switch it up. You can put it in the bun like, okay let me show you. You can switch it up. You can put it in buns or whatever. High buns. And... You can just play play around with it. Like, it's ponytails. Like, you can do anything. Just classy with it. However, I know you guys are loving my makeup. And so, um, I did a cut, another cut crease. But then I did the wing line. And then the glitter on top of the wing line. And I'm going to also talk about this lip. Because this lip is one of the products that I have in my bag today. From, what's from It's from MAC. And it's called Sin. How am I going to get into it? But um, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it now. I'm just gonna say that this lip color is amazing. It is matte, so you know how lipstick rubs away. Like as I'm licking, it's not going anywhere because it's matte and it's like dry. You know, like if you um, if you have Ruby Woo, you already know what I'm talking about. So this is the color sin. I looked it up. You know, I look up products before I buy them. However, I have not seen Sin, okay? I've seen Sin on a couple of, couple of YouTube channels, and very few have talked about it. But I love the color, so I got it. I got two colors, and I will show you. However, if you want to see me recreate this look for you guys, comment in the comment section below. And... I'm going to tell you everything that I have on my face in the description bar. However, I know you guys are sick of me talking. I know you want to get started. So, let's get started on the makeup first. I'm going to talk about the makeup and then I'm going to go into the clothes. Be right back there, girl, okay? Um, we're going to first talk about this um, dip brow pomade from Anastasia. So, I have that on my eyebrows now. Like... I, I used to use a pencil until I got this amazing dip brow and it just changed my whole eyebrow scenery like oh my god my eyebrows look so much better than the pencil the pencil was harsh but then this is it's it's not harsh it's um I don't know what to say it's amazing okay this is stuff is really amazing so I want to get into talking about it this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So this is the front of the box. I know my camera, if it's not focusing then that's fine. And this is in the color chocolate. So you can see the color right here. But then it says chocolate on the and got the barcode on it. So before I show you the product, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the product. I'm also going to have an updated eyebrow tutorial on using this instead of the old one. So you can go check out the old one too, but then I'm going to do a new one, which is on this. Okay, so this is a waterproof brow color, ideal for sculpting, defining, and carving perfectly precise brows that won't fade so much free and creamy formula. This stuff is really creamy formula, formula, formula. This stuff is really creamy. This is a creamy formula. And it's um it's like you really don't need that much. Like you do not have to put that much on your brush because my mama has already been digging in it, 
okay? And <laughs> she, <laughs> she been digging in it and it is looking a mess. But <laughs> like I said, you do not need that much, okay? So this is the front of it. It's kind of heavy too, but that's probably just because of the glass. This is the front and it has on the glass it has Anastasia Beverly Hill and then on the bottom of it it says <coughs> dip brow pomade and chocolate and this is in the color chocolate so this is a creamy formula and it makes your eyebrows look like after you do your eyebrows you will probably look like because you have to scope it like you have to scope it on your own but then if you mess up you know that's where the concealer comes in so all you have to do is put this on when you put it on and you make a mess or something or a boo boo all you got to do is carve it out with the concealer it's like what it just said sculpting your eyebrows so i regular regular i recommend this dip brow pomade but i heard that the one in what was it I think ebony or something was kind of ashy so that's why I just got chocolate because I heard that this one um, is the best one you know like I said I do my research before I pick up anything so I did my research on this and I saw so many people on YouTube raving about this so yes go pick one up if you don't have one because this makes your eyebrows it's like a, a gel it just makes your eyebrows look perfect like I cannot say any more about this however I'm gonna swatch it hopefully uh, so this is um the inside which my mama has digged in it and messed it up like i don't understand <laughs> you actually don't need that much need but i'm gonna swatch <laughs> i'm gonna swatch it for you guys so this is the inside so i'm gonna swatch it so look this bad thing in my hand in there not too harsh this is how much I picked up. So, this is my skin. And okay. So, this is the pomade swatched onto my hand. See how deep that is? It's like a, it's almost, it's not like a pencil, but it's better than a pencil. It's like, like the holy grail, okay? This for your eyebrows, okay? This is the holy grail. You need this. For real. For first timers and doing your eyebrows, I don't suggest this because a pencil is more better for first timers. Whoever um, is starting off with makeup. So do not. Um, I probably I was probably holding my head down the whole video. Okay, hold on. Let me reposition my head. However, you should not get this if you are a first timer. Do not get this. Get, just stick with a pencil until you get really good at your eyebrows and then start get into the high-end products however that was it for oh that wasn't it this um has 4.0 4 4.0 grams of product in here so yes it'll last you probably about a year i'm not for sure but i'm gonna get another one it'll last you probably about a year okay that was it with the anastasia i'm gonna move on to these two lovely lipsticks that i have gotten from mac one is one my mama bought and then the other one i bought which is sin on my lips she got um all fried up and i got sin which is the one i'm wearing now it is so pretty and it's a matte color like i said i just show you the demonstration it's like rude like matte and dry and also yeah this um all fired up is the same like matte like when you look at your lips it's not gonna come off it's like like a lip stain it's like a lip stain or something but since i got the um Seeing on my lips right now, I'm going to show you all fired up. And these lipsticks are, um, I think, yeah, these lipsticks are $15 a piece, yeah, for a lipstick. So this is all fired up. It's like a, it's like a, um, a pink, but it's like a fiery pink. Um, that's why it's called all fired up, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna swatch that on my hand. Okay, so this is all fired up. 
Like if I had some good lighting, y'all could see how it how it look. It's so pretty. But this is all fired up. And then this is sin. These are not creamy, like I said. Well, they creamy, but they matte when you put it on. My bad. This is thin. You can see that I've been using it, okay? Because I got this on my lips. This is a pretty, both of these are pretty fall colors. So if you're looking for a fall color, go get all fired up and sin. That's what you need to go get. Definitely sin because this is a pretty color. It's just a glass on my hand, like. Oh my God. So this is sin right here. Pretty colors. This is pretty two colors. Okay, so this is sin on the right and on the left is all fired up and then this is an anastasia dip brow pomade right okay so that's that's basically to create the eyebrows and the lips that you want of your choice so um i really want that little rack palette the first one but when i went to sephora they said that they didn't have it in sale they didn't have it in the stores anymore so um they was like would you like to order and i was like i didn't want to wait that long and i thought no more stores had it but when i had one to discovery i asked this girl because i asked was i really neutral but it was like really vibrant like a really pigmented neutral color so i'm like oh okay your lips is i mean your um eyes are very pretty um did you use the um naked palette she's like no i used the lorac palette and i'm like oh my god where you get it from did you get it from sephora she's like no i got it from awesome i was right there about out like i don't understand like i didn't even go in there like i'm so mad because i could have got to the right pattern i could have showed y'all but i'm gonna get it don't worry about it i'm getting it next weekend so stay tuned for that however i want to show you um what i got from forever 21 so okay forever 21 to me has been really downgrading in their clothes like their clothes have gotten really ratchet to me well, it was ratchet. That's why I stopped shopping in Phil 21. But until I went downtown, I don't know what is on my hand. Like, it just dab my hand. But when I went downtown, we didn't know that it was a second Phil 21. But the first original Phil 21 that it was at on State Street, so I live in Chicago. So for, for whoever lived that lives in Chicago and that goes downtown, the first Phil 21 that was there you know had the clothes but now it's a clearance store where they was at but you know it was a shot of roots downtown but i guess they are not there anymore so somehow forever 21 took over and when i went in forever 21 like they fall tree now it's like bruh it's like to die for like <laughs> it is so pretty like they have all ranges from orange burgundy um like so many sweaters so many wraps so many um pants jewelry like they it's just like a whole new trend set up in there like so i just went up to, went up in there and got a few things but it, it's not really that much but then it had dollar 90 tank tops like you can get a whole bunch of them you know you know you can wear tank tops you, you don't want to pass up tank tops so i'm gonna start off and then i had this fur um jacket that i had got um two years ago for christmas two or three years ago for christmas and i never worn it but one time and i was gonna throw it away but i didn't throw it away so i kept it and it's really furry but however i found um a tank top that was a dollar 90 to match with the furry um jacket that i got and it's like so pretty together so i want to find me some bottoms and um some shoes to go with it however this is the wrap right here it was $17.90 it was a $17.90 so this is the wrap I'm not gonna put it on but this hat is it's like if you see the wraps you will you will know um yeah. so this is a wrap and you can wear these with anything like you can wear these with anything like I said I bought all just about all the tank tops and you could put so many tank tops on there like in heels and jeans and shorts and shorts with stockings and like you could just like i know how to trend i know how to set i know how to trend set up okay i know how to do all of that because i'm a fashionista okay i'm gonna tell you right there in the dope okay 
For real, okay? Don't get me wrong, because I know how to style, okay? Got that right. Look at my Instagram. But however, I'm going to show you the, um, this furry, um, thing that I was talking about. So, this is it right here that I got two years ago. Well, yeah, two or three years ago for Christmas. So, I'm going to just put it on. I'm going to show you this. It's like really pretty. Okay, so this is it. Like, and I was, like, I was seriously finna throw this away, y'all. I was finna throw this away, now. You could rock this with a ponytail, finna. But, so, this is it. And then, to match this furry, uh, bag is this color tank top right here. It's a purple tank top that I just put under there. With some gold accessories and a gold watch or something like that. Because, you know, oh my God, I look like, baby, I look rich, but I ain't rich, okay? This stuff was cheap. Okay, this stuff was cheap. So, yeah, so I could play this with um some disco pants, some disco pants um in the color black or, let's see, this color purple or something, you know, just all purple in there, like the shoes, um, the shoes, gold or tin or something like that, something neutral. Or I could play black disco pants or something like that. I don't know, but I'll show you if I do put this on. So that is the first vest that I was talking about. And I got this color tank top, which you could put under um that wrap. This purple tank top shows you. I got this blue one. Like I said, these is all a dollar ninety. Got this burgundy. Some I'm just I'm just loving burgundy. Burgundy with this lip. I'm just dark colors, dark colors. Um, got a mustard, mustard, mustard one. And I got this pretty shirt from Discovery. Okay, so this wasn't even supposed to be in the bag, but I got this pretty shirt from Discovery. Let me see. So, I got this uh, shirt right here. So, it's like this. I mean, y'all can't really see. Okay, y'all can see that. But it's a pretty shirt that you go with jeans. I'm not wearing nothing under it. It's going to be my titties out, like titties. But they're not going to be showing. So, you know how them dresses look, like the V-cut dresses? This is a shirt, but it's a V-cut shirt that I'm going to make. Okay, with no bra and just some jeans and some heels. Okay, set it off. Okay, I'm the in this mother trucker. Okay, now <laughs> so yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Put it just with my you know the little titties, like the little almost titty showing. Okay, that is I got me a black tank top because I really need a black tank top. I got a white one, but uh, I already put it on so. Yeah, I got a black one. You need black, okay? You need black. I got a lot of tanks out because I love wearing tanks out. However, I got some new shoes. So, that my mama bought. Okay, so these shoes came from Lola Shoe Tea off of Instagram. So, this is a lovely wrapping that they have came in. Like, this is so amazing. Like, purple and pink. And they're like, it's so pretty. So wait till you see the shoes, watch. Gorgeous. These are fall color too. I will wear this to the cream. This is the wrap that they came in. So go follow them on Instagram. Lola Shootique at Lola Shootique. So, you yeah, already ready? Go follow them. Okay, so this is the heel. This is seven and a half. Y'all know I got a big foot. I'm going to show y'all an image of the heel. I'm going to have everything below in the description bar. So, these are it. So pretty. Off he did. So, these are it. 
like I said, you can also wear it with the um, with all fired up if you wanted to. But like I said, if you also want to see a recreation of this makeup, please comment below and let me know. Also, if you have any more questions, please email me at briannamccallop at gmail.com, which I will also have in my contact bar down below. You can follow me at bmarie, add me on Facebook. I will have everything in the description bar. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and please stay beautiful, dolls.